it's uh, Monday the 2nd of January 2017 and welcome to my December 2016 update. Uh, first let's start by saying hello to our regular viewers and welcome to anybody joining me for the first time. I'm just going to do a quick run through of projects that I've worked on in December. The only one I'm missing out is Death by Cross Stitch because I did very, very little on that and the reason for that will become apparent as I go through this. So starting with Wherefore Art Thou? It was the mystery Nora Corbett in 2016 and in the at the end of November I'd finished Clue 2 which was kind of anything below this sort of line. So, as you can see, I have managed to get quite a lot done in December. Now, a lot of that is thanks to the holidays, because it meant that I had extra mornings that I could spend upstairs working on it. So, I started by working my way up the planter here and getting all these flowers and the greenery in. And after that, I moved over onto Juliet got the top half of her dress and the skin, her head and neck in there as well. In the last couple of days, so a couple of bits of January, I've stitched her hair, or completed her hair, and then I've also added the back stitch because she was looking a bit weird without a face. So I've just got some flowers to put in her hair and then she's finished. And I can get over to working on the plant and flowers on the other side of the picture. And so what I would like for January is to be able to have the cross stitch finished on this piece. Now there is quite a lot of work in the plant and the flowers and the bushes. But I'm hoping that I have enough time in January to get that completed. And talking about just a little bit of progress. Um, I've done a... A bit more on Turkey Bay from Plum Street Samplers. I think I've got the I've turned the corner on the border. I've got the flowers and some of these berries and leaves in. Um, all I've done on that is a couple of hours over Christmas, so it does stitch together quickly, and I really enjoy working on it. So I make some time to get some more done on that this month before I go back to some of the the other small pieces that I was working on. This one I'm stitching 1 over 2 on 36 count fabric. So moving quickly on, this is the uh, Lakeside Needlecraft Fantasy Stitch Along. The artist on this one is Doreen Jones. A bit of fluff on there. This one I take to work with me and just mostly work at lunch times. So I get about an hour on the days that I stay in. So the monthly one this year this last in December was the December fairy I really like the little robin and it took most of the month to do because I was quite busy at work as well I've also managed to stitch the snowflake that's in between the circles and then I had enough time afterwards to kind of work this line upwards and get January circle ready for that pattern. Now that one has actually came out, it came out on the 1st of January, but I thought I've got plenty to do at home and I'm going to wait until I'm back at work, so later in the week, to get that one started. I would really like to be able to get some of the border on page one done this month as well, but it depends on how much time I get to stitch on it. So this is a restart, and a restart isn't the same as a new start, so um, <laughs> that's how I can get away with it. The, I think some of my earliest videos have got me some, talking about something called Project Green. And it was basically this piece, except I was stitching it on white, and the green was me working the background, which was quite dull. There was a few different shades of green, but um, it was such a huge expanse of green. I think I had something like five pages before I even hit some different colours. 
So once Death by Cross Stitch came out, Project Green kind of got set aside a bit and was languishing and nothing happening. So I sort of gave up on that idea of stitching the background and I found this fabric from Chromatic Alchemy and the colourway is called Radioactive. And from the description, it was a similar DMC colours to the ones I was stitching with. So I thought I'd give it a try. And so that came in, that arrived in November. And once I'd finished the rotation, well, once I'd finished a page on Into the Sea, which I'll show you later, um, I was... I just got started on it. I'm working from the centre, I'm working outwards and I'm removing the background as I go. Technically this page is the only page where there is no background. So this page is the only entirely stitched page, which is nice to think that I've just got partials left. Um, some of them are quite full pages, but it's, it's still nice to think that I don't have so much to do. Um, I also decided over Christmas, because I think I, there was a week between um, my Game of Nouveau rotation finishing and the start of the year, so I thought I'd just stitch him over Christmas. He's sand around, he's got a little duck with a little sand hat on, he's got a little sprig of holly on his tummy as well, and he was a Christmas present a couple of years ago, so that was kind of just every excuse I needed to him get working on him and I managed to finish the page um, it was finished the day before New Year's Eve now he's going away for a little bit now I'm not sure when he'll come out again I'll probably just work on him occasionally throughout the year green on green stitching is about as much fun as white on white stitching um, so I have to concentrate a bit more and need good light to see it but I think he might be a good one to bring out whenever I've got holidays from work or even closer to Christmas um, I might have more time towards the end of the year to work on him as well so I'd like to get more done this year but I don't know how much that will be and I'm not sure when the artist of him is he's called Santoral the artist is Anya Kai and it's by Heaven and Earth Designs I think I've got a picture of him actually. Okay. It might glare a bit because it's laminated. But that's kind of what he'll look like. So as you say I've got that bit done and so it's quite a big section of him done already. Um so hopefully he shouldn't take too long to get done. Um, this is Into the Sea. I think I'd stitched quite a lot of page 14 at the end of December for that rotation. And I stitched the rest of it at the beginning of December, which was the end of the rotation for this piece. So I've been able, the last couple of rotations, I've been able to get a page finished each time. There's a bit more work done on it now because I'm stitching it... Uh, for the Heaven and Earth Designs Challenge number 4, which has been run on their Facebook group. I think it's also been run on the bulletin board. They, I think they started running them together just to, to give everyone a chance of joining in. So I started this page 15 yesterday. And yeah, got off to a flying start with it. This one really works up quickly. It could be a combination of tent stitch, blocks of colours. Um, just got a bit of hair strategically covering her modesty. But uh, yeah, so two weeks starting, well, starting from yesterday. Hopefully I'll be able to get it done in the two weeks. I think the challenge ends the 7th of April now, but I won't need that long to get this page finished. Um, so I kind of got back to this one in 2016. I had wanted, at the beginning of 2016, my plan was to work on this one to get it finished. And that didn't happen because I got sidetracked by the new starts and switching projects. But this year, this year, I am going to get it finished. Last year, I stitched 
four pages so it was two up here and two down here so two pages finished in 2016 and I've got the rest of this row to complete one more full row of pages and then another row of very partial pages so I'm quite confident that I can get this finished by the end of the year and if I do that then I'll probably get Santa Al out again because it'll be towards the end of the year and I'll be able to get working on him for the Christmas period. And finally we have Gamer Nouveau from Gecko Rouge. When at the start of the rotation I think I was halfway through this page here where, where all her hair is and um, that was page 17 and I managed to get that completed and also complete page 18 by the time the rotation finished. It was getting a bit tight but I got it done. So happy. So this one um, last year this was the one that I stuck with throughout the entire year and I stitched 14 pages on it in 2016. I've now completed three rows of pages. There's another four rows to go. The bottom row is partial pages but there's a lot of grey in it so that's probably going to take me quite a while to get through. But my aim for 2017 is to stick with it again for another year and get two more rows of pages done. Which hopefully, seeing as I've already done it this year, hopefully that's going to be achievable next year as well. I don't know how tricky those pages are going to get for confetti. It's been quite, um, quite a mix of blocks and confetti. So far, I'm expecting that to stay the same. Hopefully ease up a little bit on the confetti. But next row, end of next row, so down here somewhere, I'll have Link from Zelda to stitch. So I'm quite looking forward to that. And this is how I'm going to be keeping track of my stitching in 2017. It's a journal, journal called um, the J Journal, Journey. Um, it's by Iconic, which is a Korean, I those notes, a Korean brand of planner, and I got it from Sticker Stack here in the UK. They're just really nice planners. So it actually started in November, but I'm working on it from December. So I just note down what I've worked on each day, holidays, the time when I'm not at work, and I'm also keeping track of the rotation days in there as well so I put in an extra rotation week for for Santa Al and then on other pages you've just got a little bit extra where you can keep track of extra information um, and I've also kept a note of what I need for the Heaven and Earth Design Challenge So um, hopefully I'll get that filled in this year. I I have had other kind of desktop planner, desk, desk pad style planners that I've used over the years. Um, I really do like this style. It's a good way of keeping track of where I am. I like to keep count of how many pages I've done because I work on the large pieces. You don't get so many finishes. So I like to kind of note down and celebrate almost every page finish that I do um, it's an achievement uh, on the heaven and earth designs on a regular size page there's about 7,315 stitches so that's a fair amount of stitching to to get done so it should be counted um, as their own little finishes uh, they really do help you to to get through those projects especially when you you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Um, just you can just keep track of how long it's taking you, regular pictures and that sort of thing's nice. But I do like to keep notes as well. And it also helps me when I do these videos. So that's it for December. Hopefully uh, you had a lovely end of year. 
and looking forward to everything that 2017 is going to bring. Lots of new stitching patterns, I expect. Lots of new things to tempt us into new starts. I'm going to try and resist as much as I can. But I say that every year and I end up not resisting. Hopefully this year. I really do want to get into the sea finish this year. And so hopefully you get lots of stitching time throughout the year. And the frog stays away from you. And I'll see you at the end of January for another update. Maybe be back in between for another stitchy video. See you then. Bye.